three dates, six dates, two months, six months. Have you ever wondered how long you should make a guy wait before you have sex with him, before you become intimate? Well, that's what we're gonna be discussing today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome back to your great life to come. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And today I'm gonna be discussing how to determine when is the right time for you to open up yourself sexually to connect with a guy. Now, I'll pre-frame this conversation by telling you that this advice that I'll be sharing with you today applies specifically when you want to connect with a guy and create a long-term relationship. The reason why this advice applies for that is because if you simply want to have fun with someone, if you want to free yourself from the past, <laughs> liberate yourself from your excess thoughts. I mean, you can do anything you want, but if you want to create a connection with someone that lasts and stands the test of time, that's, today is my strong recommendation uh, on how to do it. So, it's not a secret to you that most men, and I'm talking in generic terms, have a lot more sexual energy than women. It's just the way, the biology of a guy is designed that way, and when it's not unlikely that the guy's gonna want to connect with you sexually before you're ready. He, he is ready <laughs> before you even think about it. But the thing is, I hate to give you a number in terms of specific amount of time you have to wait before you open yourself up to, to him sexually. I'll give you the thought process that a guy goes through when he connects with you sexually. A guy, when he connects with you, he wants to A, enjoy himself, but also wants to give you pleasure, but also wants to see that in his frame of, of mind, there's different categories of women. There's a kind of woman that he can actually show off to the world and connect his mom to and basically say, hey, this is my woman. There's a kind of woman he's gonna have fun with. Now, the quicker this happens without he actually putting in the time investment, the more likely it is for you to be put into that category of easy and just fun, but not long-term long quality, okay? It's unfair, yes. Is it cool? No, it's not cool. But I'd rather talk to you about the world the way it is today versus the way I wish it were, okay? So because guys already are this way, my advice to you is to come up with an idea, criteria, standard of what has to happen before he connect. you can open yourself up to him sexually. My recommendation is not really to look for a specific number of dates or a length of time, but that you actually share some experiences that let you know that this guy is serious about you, that lets you know that this guy is really interested in you, and also that you realize that he's worth spending time with enough to stop connecting with other guys. So if you find a guy who meets the criteria of really pursuing you, of really being the right kind of guy for you, having high values. You've gone through a couple of situations where there's times of stress and he reacts in a positive way, he doesn't run away, and you have this confidence that he's a guy that, yeah, this can happen with, then the next part for, for my suggestion would be to decide that he's strong enough for you to stop seeing other guys and that he on his end has stopped seeing other girls. If he's still dating other women as he's having sex with you, in his mind, he has not placed high enough value in you, okay? So for a guy to really think of you long term, he has to value you, what you offer him, above his messing around with other women. So if you find a guy who wants to commit to you, be exclusive with you, at that moment you don't have to be married, you don't have to have any length of time happen other than you know in your heart that that's the fact, that's true, then you might open yourself up to him sexually, <laughs> okay? So that's my advice to you right now. Take it with a grain of salt. Each one of you needs to make her own mind as to what's your criteria. But having gone through so many different um, connections in terms of seeing what works, what doesn't work, I know that this is something that can definitely put you in a guy's mind and heart as someone really valuable. Thank you so much for allowing me to share this with you. <laughs> if you're watching me on YouTube, please click like and subscribe to my channel and then head on, there's a link below that you can click and if you click on that link, you'll subscribe to a free video series that shows you how to connect to the guy you want in nine days or less. If you're watching me on my blog, write a comment, let me know your experiences, send me an email, I look forward to hearing from you and thank you so much for allowing me in your home and in your heart 